You mean like holding a like holding a cross to a vampire? Yeah, exactly. Except I don't believe in vampires. And action! What is it? Oh. Whoa, whoa. What? She, she hung herself here. Okay, cut. Back to one. Cut. Real thick. And action. So, do we just come in from camera? Like, I love that moment if we could, like when the girls were running out and you guys were running towards each other, right? I would want to see you like dropping down to your knees and hugging the girls. Oh, great. That's great. I just think it would be so emotional just to yeah, see yeah, that, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you get down to their That's level great. at their eyes, just like hugging and embracing them. And That's especially, great. and then pull April close into you because April is the one that you know you try to hurt. Um, we're, no, uh, we're not authorized to do that, but, uh, but yes, the uh, Vatican did send a priest to perform the ritual. So what happened to Maurice? Well, he tried to shoot his wife, but he ended up just blowing her arm off and then turned the gun on himself, <clears throat> which brings us to the three stages of demonic activity, infestation, oppression, and possession. Now, the first stage, infestation. It's the whispering, the footsteps that you hear, the feeling of another presence, which ultimately grows into oppression. Where the victim, it's usually someone who's the most psychologically vulnerable, is specifically targeted by an external force. And action. Hey, hon. You're not gonna believe this. Helen's voice didn't record. What do you mean? Listen. My name is Ed Warren. It's November 1st, 1971. I'm sitting here with Carolyn Parent, who, with her family, has been experiencing supernatural occurrences. All right, go ahead. Hmm. From the first occurrence. 
Nothing. I can't figure it out. You find anything? Yeah. It's no wonder they're going through what they are. That's the original farmhouse. It was built in 1863 by a man named Judson Sherman, who was married to a woman named Bathsheba. 